Let me ask you a question. What you know about that eye of the sky? What you know about bumping that block all night, getting chased, but nowhere to run? I'm west side till I die. All I see in my hood is the blue lights. Light. We used to it. Niggas sell hard, white, all night. Up under them blue lights, hard night, hard life. Up under them blue lights, hard white, all night. Up under them blue lights, hard nights, hard life. Up under them blue lights, ah. them blue lights, big blunts, roll right, up under them blue lights, pastors preaching, niggas leaking, up under them blue lights, and what we do, we never speaking, up under them blue lights, shit, from a city where that fame gets you gunned down, they be on the pill, sun up the sun down, chemists, pulling H out their water, make police blitz when they come round, couple dead, couple not when they come round, they the number one gang in this fucking town, young kid get shot, we don't make a sound, police kill a nigga, then it's going down, Raise your kids to be kings cause they hunt us down Block turn to Elm Street when the sun down Freddy Krueger out the window with the long nose See the white but he can hit you with his eyes closed Niggas caught fed time for that stop snitching Now I don't think niggas did, they just stop missing This the land that we live in, no care for the wound Ain't no love for the weak niggas, stop bitch Ain't nothing like, like Living under these blue lights Tell the truth and they never gonna improve life huh? Had them motherfuckers broke cause they never did work And the other half niggas don't put in work That's a judge with a black nigga worth uh, Brown hair just a stain in the shirt You survive when it rain they gon' hurt Nah, block apart they gon' beef over turf Nah, I guess you niggas can't learn from our hurts Be the same to the dirt, bear the pain with the purse Get it on the mud cause we came from the dirt We been doing overtime since the day of our birth the cops be watching in the streets Be talking in them things that's lined up Better watch when you be walking under these blue Let me talk to you. I've cashed you the money like one, two, three. Play hard, go hard. 
for the gram, and these niggas so fraud. Got hundred, hey. hundred grand large in the go yard. Pull, pull, pull the Aston Martin, treat it like a go kart. When you're gone, can't take it to the grave with you. How does your team they ain't even getting paid with you? Fuck with you, king little nigga, help you step it up. 'Cause everybody on the team gotta level up. I ain't gon' lie, fucking with a nigga like Gilly, baby, come with benefits. I take you around the world, we can fly first class to Dubai on the Emirates. Haters just remember this. Remember this. Get up out of line in the semi spit. It's all work, no play. Until the work gone, then a nigga okay. <laughs> That fat lady still ain't saying yeah. Go hard, homes, wherever you stand at. Mama said, say your grace when you eat that. Now I get the bread, yeah. Work hard, took a leak, gotta feel that. Why they hate on me where I stand at? But it don't matter, you just gotta go hard, yeah. I play hard, work hard, go hard, Eddie. I play hard, work hard, go hard, Eddie. I play hard. Mr. Mike, turn up entertainment. Room 1500, we My back. My co-host, we back. Oh, we hyped this morning, too. The energy is nice up in here. Stay. I done worked out. I done had me some, uh, some oatmeal and bananas. You got that help. protein. I had me a I got my lollipop. <laughs> I'm trying to know about the lollipop. Charms. I'm about to put lollipops back on the mizzet. With the gum. Yeah, with the gum. <laughs> got to have the gum. <laughs> Tuesday morning, City Brothers, you love. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to everybody tuned in. Appreciate the love. Appreciate, appreciate the, love. the love. Appreciate the love. And like always, if you're an artist, if you're an artist, we you got those bangers, holla at me. Send them to turn that up. E-N-T at gmail.kizam. But remember my motto. If it's hot, I play it. If it's not, I won't. But like always, man, wrong. We got those hot topics. We got something to flow with. Yep. Got a head. We gonna start some shit today. And remember, people, you can call in and holler at us too. What's that number, wrong? What's the calling number, wrong? 267-665-0955. One more time, wrong. Give it to him one more time. 267-665-0955. All right, don't Give be scared. Call in, you know, leave us comments. We do read comments back. Yes. We do read comments yes. back. We love the engagement. Yes. Cause right. at the end of the day, hold on, you gotta let we gotta let the people know. It's all about opinions and, and laughter. laughter. Make sure you include the laughter because guess what? We don't want to talk to nobody or upset nobody and yeah, nobody so don't be calling, angry vibes. Don't be calling here with that shit because I hang up on you. Click. <laughs> I do a mark real quick. <laughs> hey right. Ange, what's up? So wrong, wrong. Gonna start things off like always with his. Uh, if you, yeah, if you, if you, yeah. So this one that I picked out. Now since everybody got the buzz on this money, on that on that lottery thing, wrong. Yeah, they got the buzz for it. They chasing. So if you had a million, would you give to a disaster hit half of it? Matter of fact, let me say that right. Half would you of give it? half of it? If you, if you, if you had if you a had million dollars, a million dollars, would you give half of it to a disaster hit city or solve a problem in your own city? So what would you do, people? If you had a million dollars, let us know. Would you give it to half? No, would you get half to? Would it? you get half of your money to a disaster hit city or solve a problem in your own city? So what would you? What would I do? I ain't getting nobody shit, wrong. <laughs> I believe you. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to, I'm I'm trying to keep with, us on the, you know, the generous tip. I probably would, uh, I probably would go, I probably would do something in my city. I Right off the back, I would take care of something in my city. Yeah. What would you take care of in Philly? Um, something like, uh, something that we need. It That's wouldn't familiar. be... I probably put it toward the school system. Yeah, I think our education. school system fucked up right education, now. Education, teachers, they need books and all that shit like that. Um, certain certain situations with uh the firefighters, firefighters. Yeah, First, homeless people. I help definitely, them out. Definitely, definitely. Um, 
uh, maybe try to a fundraiser or some shit. A shelter for uh, try to build a, whatever whatever that amount can get me. I would put it to like uh, battered women shelter, mm. food stuff like that. Something How about that, battered men? That that too. Mentally abused men, come on in. This is a little something. This is my donation to help everybody. How come men can't go in there and say shit like that and, look, and we look like fucking fools? Because we supposed to be the man. You go ahead and talk about some. <laughs> I've been abused by who, sir? <laughs> My wife. She ain't in black eye. It don't even look right because just just because it, it's it a don't man. even look right. Just because it's a man. All right, but you'll get your money. But that's what I would do, Ron. Okay. I will help right. out like the rec centers. Yeah. I'll help out the rec centers. Rec centers fucked up. I would definitely go back down York Street. I go back down York Street. Get the playground done. Don't oh, that's, judge me. That, that's a must. That's a must. Would I? I would, I would do that. My brother probably said you crazy. I know my brother like, man, I'll be gone down there. Probably, but so. I would get back. But there. yeah, I know who would say that. Yeah, but it's a, you know, it's a general. You doing a generous thing. Yeah, it'd be a generous thing. Cause I you said half the money. Right, half of the half of the million. But I probably would take even half of that, and you know, just probably serve both pur both purposes. Okay. So that way, you know, what I'm saying somebody, cause you figure we might be taking care of some situations here. That's pretty okay but to serve somebody who just had their house ran through by a hurricane who ain't who you know True. they ain't got nothing True. so True. they looking for you know whatever matters so I think True. I would you know chop that other hand you know if somebody just paid their house off in the hurricane that's fucked up though that's really that's that's the same situation right there because like you lose every fucking thing, dog. And then the and you see you see on the news when people walk back past where they house used to be, <laughs> and it's the tall is still sitting there, <laughs> and it's nothing. You can't there. find your cat. Your car done hit twenty miles down the road. Yeah, that's fucked up. Right? So it's the I think I would try oh, to. Yeah. I think I would uh, slice that up a little bit more. And that's why I'm glad I live in Philly. Yeah, well, well, we fortunate. Yes, we definitely fortunate. Thank God we ain't got no that shit right there, boy. I tell you, Hallelujah. I couldn't take it real quick, boy. I tell you. All right, Ron, your your side popping. Let's see who talking to us. Um, we got E. Uh, we got Rhonda. We got Inch. Hey, hey, Inch. Rhonda. Hey, Inch. She said, "What we doing? We just sharing opinions and laughter. We on the but 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 we, we got some waves. hot topics. We, we just getting warmed wave, up. Yeah. We want the waves just talking right now. Yeah, we just getting warmed up. Um, other than that, we got Fred as usual. What's up, Fred? Um, Fred, Fred, Peter, Bay. My man D, Alicia, saying, Fred, cousin Fred, Peter, Bay. No, I don't remember that one. Um, <laughs> and my cousin Darren and Rhonda. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Shout out to everybody tuned in. Appreciate the Thursday love. morning. City Brotherly Love. I'm your host, Mr. Mike, and this is my co-host. Rome 1500. I'm in the building. Oh, boy. And all we do is opinions and laughter. We so just don't be to mad. Make... Don't be tripping on this argument. We got some. We just getting warmed up. Just trying right? to make everybody yeah. smile a little bit. Take and we love the engagement. Anger. Please engage with us. And don't be scared to call in the holler at us. What's that number, Rome? Uh, 267-665-0955. 0955. And today, let's get it up. Let's get it out there early. Rhonda, leave us short comments. No paragraphs. <laughs> hey, Rhonda, he said that I ain't say nothing, Rhonda. I'm cool with you. You can write me a book. <laughs> I ain't said, hey, Rhonda. So in the meantime, in the meantime, in between know, time, we're gonna keep going. Turn that up. Two one five talk show is on. Uh, uh so on to the next one. On to the next one. Uh before I get into my, my hot I like my hot topic. All right, break it off then. Break it off. Break it off. All right, so we all know we all know about what the uh, the situation with my girl Carly B, aka my baby mama. We all know about that. And Ron, you know how I feel about Carly B. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, in case you live under a rock and you only seen the trending, uh, they put up some old video. Why the fuck old videos always come back? To haunt somebody when they establish. When they establish. Key thing when they establish. Yeah, hey, well, you Because if some of my old videos come out, I'd be in trouble. Ooh, I'm glad I wasn't a camera boy back uh -huh, then. I'm trying to tell you. But, and you know, that she so-called confessed to the fact 
that she was uh, drugging. She used drugging, drugging men, and and robbing them. Wait, wait, wait. What's what's considered drugging? I don't know. They ain't get into what type of drug it was. Cause see, if you just sitting there blowing trees with somebody, that's not drug. <laughs> that's not drug. <laughs> no. But they really ain't say what, what 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 drug it was though. Well, then I I can't really you know because and that's been that's been a hot topic, Rowan, because it's it's so much flip side to that. We ain't even gonna say we gonna leave Carly B. Olive, but right. that's how everything came up. But girls doing that right now, definitely to this day, to this day, girls is doing that shit, Rowan. And and they meeting dudes at the club, getting high, taking them home, and, and going in their pockets. Actually, this a the drug now is a bonus because before they was just using they was just using the poo nanny. Right, they were just using the sauce. The salt, the poo nanny, the poo nanny is dangerous. Sauce them to death, then knock them out. Next thing you know, they in their pockets out and the they, door. Yeah, and you know as men, you know. At the good night of drinking and all that shit and with partying. Some good, with some good sauce. Yup, some head and all that shit. Man. We out. <sighs> Where the cheese eggs at? <laughs> <laughs> you wake up, wrong. you ain't got no cheese eggs. The bitch done took the cheese eggs too, wrong. See, she, she just totally She's foul. scandalous. She totally foul. You ain't even give me my cheese eggs. Scandalous. You ain't even had to back then. You ain't even had to. Turkey bacon probably wasn't even out back then. So, so leave us a comment. Tell, tell, tell us what y'all think. Let us know. And let us know. Don't make it. Don't make it about Carly B. All I'm saying is that that shit is happening nowadays. What's the big fucking deal? Carly B. from the hood. None. None of this shit that she do, whether it's old. Or maybe new shit. None of the old shit that you can dig up about this girl should fucking surprise anybody because the girl's from the hood. She know that. She put that shit out there. And she got everybody loving it. Everybody loving it. I'm glad she didn't sugarcoat her ways. No. She she remind me of that Spanish chick you grew up with in the hood and shit. Y'all done smoke L's all the fucking time and y'all done party. Y'all done four people. Chase but, roosters together. Yeah. <laughs> And, and she just got that success. <laughs> and she was the one that she was the one that actually made it out to make herself out of something. Yeah. So shouldn't nothing she say be you know be, be so surprised? Once again, people, the hot topic is we talking about women using the poo nanny to set men up and rob them. Yes. You know they and, and you know and then it's it's levels to that shit too. You know that right, bro? Walk me through it, because I ain't never been there. Oh, it's levels. <laughs> Walk me through it. I ain't been there. It's wrong. It's levels. I'm going to get the hell out of there, boy. D hey, look. <laughs> All right. What I'm going to do, we're going to take a pause for the call. We're going to play a song real quick. All right. Then we're going to come back, and we're going to discuss the levels. The levels to this shit, all right? And once again, people, you can holler at me and Rome. What's that number, Rome? 267-665-0955. Drop us something, a comment, whatever you got to say. We just interested. Also, too, we got E. He dropped something right there. Uh, what E talking about? Giving them pills. Uh, pill yes, that's it. Yeah. yeah, pills. But back then, that was considered, that wasn't even, what they call it? I'm trying, oh, pancakes. Oh, pancakes? Pancakes and syrup. So yeah. you know what I'm saying you hit a person with that, then yeah, you they going out. Yeah. They Hold that out. thought. We're gonna play the song real quick. We'll come right back at you. Holler at us, man. We'll be at shout out to my man Sean Archer. Power couple, man. This, this power couple right here. This song been making uh this song and that little interview I did with him been creating some shit. But this cop this power couple right here, this my man Sean Archer, man, rock with me, man. It's that it's that booty song you like. Like it's your birthday. Bad bitch contest, you in first place. Let me see your tour like it's your birthday. Bad bitch contest, you in first place. Let me see you busting for a real one. He a lame, now you're fucking with a real one. We ain't the same, girl, you're looking at a real one. Yeah, you looking at a real one. Let me see your tour like it's your birthday. All that cake, yeah, it's looking like your birthday. You a boss, bitch, yeah, you be bossing. Killing shit, the only thing. Missing is a coffin. Middle fingers up to your ex. Since you left him, now you looking all depressed. In your DM city, miss you when he's stressed. But your curve game strong. Show him baby flex. Plus you're rocking with a real one. Ain't gotta go in your pockets when them bills come. Stay on the grind, trying to count up the millions. The type to meet 
your parents and you wanna have your children. Real recognize, real and you relate. You draw your own form too, so we get race. You see them lames, put them in a place. Tell them broke niggas, get the fuck up out your face. Let me see you busting for a real one. He a lame, now you're fucking with a real one. We ain't the same, girl, you're looking at a real one. Boss up, baby, we gon' get these millions. Hair done, nails done, everything did. Got your own job and you got your own crib. Dry your own car, pay your own bills. What's missing? That's a nigga who real. Let's make a power couple. Ah. When Arch in the club is gon' be rock. It's gon' be rock. When Arch in the club is gon' be pop. It's gon' be pop. When Arch take your bitch, you ain't gon' stop. I'm Philly nigga. I'm Right back at you. I'm Mr. Mike. This is my co-host. Rome 1500. Old in the boy. building. And this is another edition of the Turn That Up 215 Shins Out every Thursday. Holler at 11 a.m. Yes. We got those hot topics, those trending things. We doing what we do. We saying what we saying. Just to encourage people, just to smile a little. Don't be angry. Because ain't nothing but... Opinions and laughter. That's what I'm talking about. And you can even holler at us. Tell them that number, wrong. 267-665-0955. Hey, wrong. Know what? We know what? Give them a second. Grab a pen. Okay. Slow it down. Slow it down. I'm ahead of myself. All right. Go ahead. Okay. 267-665-0955. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 09 what? 0955. That's what I'm talking about. All right, today, today we talking about that real hot topic, you know, what my girl, my AK, my baby mama did, Carly B. Miss. All right, we talking about how to this day that women still be setting up men. Yeah. And I was telling you how it's levels to this shit. Okay, break, set up. It's levels. break these levels down. All right, the, the first level is the hood level. Okay, so. What's the hood level? Yeah. The hood level goes like this, you know, it's, it's dollar night or, or thirsty Tuesdays, right, in the hood bar. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know I mean, neighborhood drug boy come through. Yeah, you know I mean, he been the block all day. He throwing a couple of hours around. You know, he meet this this new big butt shooter that's been looking at him all night. You with me? I'm with you. So he think he doing something. He's like, oh, I'm about to get this thing right here. So he buy drinks all night. Then go home. He smash. Boom, boom, boom. He got a big ass cheese smile on his face. But when he wake up, he check his pockets. Guess what, bro? He didn't got hit for his stacks. He got a couple of dollars going. Mm. It happens. It happens. He mad as shit. He about to wring her neck. He about to see what I'm saying? And she don't even live in the neighborhood. She just happened to pass through. But she bull in the club. You know, acting like he ball. Smash game all crazy. That's and the hood just, level right there. And he got broke. He got broke, bro. Uh, who talking to us, bro? Ooh, uh, a couple people still tapping in. Fran, sounds like he been set up before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she gave you a LOL. <laughs> that's, that's experience, Fran. <laughs> yeah, but, hey, Fran, peep this right here. Watch the movie called The Dirty Game. Mm. Watch that movie called The Dirty Game, and oh, I guarantee you, y'all tapping into something that I ain't. It's is, is, is vision. All right, all right. The next level, the next okay. level, bro. The next level is these. These ain't the hood chicks. These are the chicks that maybe like their cousin, some nigga they know. Mm -hmm. They setting up the the let, let's go say the 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 suppliers. Oh, so oh, major. You talking about major shorties? These major shorties now. Okay, they're not the hood shit that chase the niggas in the hood. These are ones that you know, boy, put them on them. Like yo, that's my man. Yo, that that boy right there, he getting that. Yeah, you know I mean, I want you to go there, holler at him, meet him, and they might they, they might date dude for a week or so. Oh yeah, yeah. 
You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Chance the R dude took her back to the spot, showed her a couple of things, you know what I mean? She informed board, and that's when he get boom. Yeah, he, he that's the that's the setup where you get wind and dine and the oh, fake yeah. the fake interest. The fake interest is there from from her. Yeah. And then she the whole time She make that phone call. You know what I'm saying? And he, de- depending on how good she is, she may can stick around a lot longer. Even after that, because he don't even know that she's the one that did it. Right. And she can stick around a lot longer and bang him for a lot more. Yep. Especially if, especially if, um, especially if dude, like, that got beef with somebody mm-hmm. or got enemies. So what, so what you, so what, 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 what would you think that type of female, what would you classify or speak of that type of woman? Would you consider a a hoe or a hustler? I was, I I would say a hustler. I would say a hustler. A hustler. And the reason why I would say a hustler because a hoe would just sleep around. No, but I'm saying she might be like you said. This is a whole other level. So she might be. You know, what I mean? she but might be trying to get some. You know what I mean, for a hoe, a hoe just gonna sleep around. Bottom line, she okay. might get a couple of hours. It's levels to being a hoe too. But a hoe would just sleep around, bro. Uh, a hustler, she if if she gonna she last all, sleep she around, she, she bought that bread. Mm-hmm. Try and get a bag. Ho, ho, desperate ho, sleep for you for twenty forty dollars. Yeah, but she might be turning it into a pep daddy. Whatever the case may be, a hustler ain't doing that. No, she all about the bag. You sure she, she about that bag? So you ain't you ain't you ain't take her to no sleazy restaurant, no shit like that. No, you ain't doing it. But the point I'm trying to make is, you know, people. People making a big thing about Carly B shit, man. But people been girls been doing that shit for fucking years, and they still doing it. Yeah, and, and the only thing different is it's the same. It's the same setup. It's just a, a different drug. Different drugs. Yeah. But now here's the other flip side today, and, and I seen this post. The risk. Do Do Carly B get charged? Nah, not that I know of. I'm just saying. Do you charge it up? No, that was the past. What? That was the past. R. Uh, Kelly was the past. No, he current. Bill Cosby was the past. So he shouldn't. So he shouldn't. Eat, that shouldn't even been that. And that Bill, Bill broke bread. And still got booked. <laughs> so Bill shouldn't even. You know what I'm saying? He should be home eating some <laughs> jello. <laughs> <laughs> Bill broke bread. And still got booked, man. But, but see, that's but the Bill pop- shit was the past, though. But that's the pop- But that's what they do now. Just to bring you down or to bring something up, you should. If you, like you said, that's that's Cardi B at her her young age, and she's she did just, that. She, just, she from the streets, she right? Was, she was surviving, right? So you gonna penalize her for something that she probably had to do? Yes. Or nah? Uh, yeah. Because you're not ex- you're not you're not exempting her from her past. Yes. Is what she is what she accumulate is what she's doing now. So that, that that matters, right? So is she is she uh, drugging people doing it now? No. Yeah, and, and how the Bible say, <clears throat> let he that never sinned cast the first stone. So there it is. There it is. So should she get penalized now for it? But they no. ground it. But they ground her up for that shit though. And I'm like, but the smart people like, nah, what the fuck. But that's here, that's man. that's the ones that's probably on that BS because they probably done did it. Hmm. They probably didn't did it. it. They just didn't probably go to the, the levels that she went to, yeah. but they did it. Even if you didn't use a drug, like I said, prior to, you used your sauce. Yeah. You let somebody come in and You use that poo nanny. Women women is dangerous. Women use that poo nanny. <laughs> you let somebody stir the sauce. That's what I'm saying. What friend talking about? Um, you read what you saw. You read what you saw. Mm-hmm. Well, the dirt always catch up to you. I'm a firm believer. She said she's a firm believer of that. Yeah. But, friend, why would you... Why would you call it dirt, though, friend? Would it be, cause, like, something that... Because everybody got dirt. Well, I guess you could call it dirt because of the whole act. And is it... Is it, a, it is you setting up somebody to... Is it because you do, she's you're doing popular wrong. now? No, you're doing wrong. So, that's why, you you know... It's, it's, oh, it's the dirt part because right. you did wrong. Because you're doing you. wrong. I got you. So you actually taking advantage of somebody. But is it something that she? I, I don't know if it if it was something that she had to do or did, was it something that she just wanted yeah. to do. 
But but the bottom line, it was it was something that she did wrong though. Right. Whether she had to do that at the time or not, whether she got famous or so not. So if she got away with it back then, what do you what why are they trying to penalize her for it now? True. So you only penalizing her now or bringing it up because of her status or where she at. Yeah. So you trying to you trying to cut you trying to tax the bag. Yeah. Nah. Leave her leave her where she at. She that was then. Cause I'm quite sure you and me have done some things that you would rather leave it in the past. Of course. That we so. you know what I'm saying? Everybody every nobody is perfect. Nobody is innocent. No, nope. Every, everybody has done something. So he that never sinned cast the first stone. I was saying that all day. But it is it, 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 like that, and it always is always when you in the public eye. Right, because because basically, like you said, she a hood girl, so the hood know it. But everybody outside the hood wouldn't have never known it if it didn't come. You know, if it didn't yeah, come from there. Yeah. Long as it stayed in the hood. It was cool. She she ain't had no problem with it. We nobody else had a problem with it. Well, and then we understand it. At least because confession to us since. <laughs> Cause some of us probably was in that situation. So we understand it and then accept yeah. it. But I know. just know it's real though. But hey, hey, I ain't, I'm not surprised. Uh, well, I'm not surprised. There yeah, you there you go. <laughs> I, I'm really not, man. That was a segment. <laughs> people in the hood they they they, they do shit, man. They they really do, man. It ain't all about this and that. It's just about at that at that time. And then see, you gotta also look at it too. The timing of it is when she's doing what she's most popularly she's she's most popular mm -hmm. and she's seen. Mm -hmm. Why didn't this Why didn't this come up before she got on Love and Hip Hop? It did, but I don't think uh, it, it, it but, did. Uh, anybody ain't paying attention then. Ain't nobody know who the fuck she was. So it didn't matter. So it didn't matter. But now I'm doing. No, it shouldn't matter. Huh? She ain't she ain't, uh she ain't drugging and knocking nobody off now. <laughs> you can drug me, Carly B. I ain't saying nothing. She doing her <laughs> she doing her Pepsi commercials. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Carly, I ain't telling nobody. So why so why is it that when even if even if the uh the men that she did it to, right? Even if they came forward and actually said what happened, why is it that a man would get clamped for that? If a man come forward and say, and, and you know, he try to say, uh, I've been drugged and this female took advantage of me, I won't press charges, why is it that men considered a fool? Or well, you a nut ass dude? That I don't know because. That's one, that's one of those life's double that, standards. Yeah. Because as a man, because it, it happened, you got caught out there, and that's what, like I'm saying, at the time she was out there, she got caught out there then, but no, she didn't right, get so caught we, out there now. You off Carly B, right? So now, I'm if just you, saying, if you, were, if, if you a guy, you got caught out there. So guys can't claim rape. You can claim it, but you, but you saying, but you a dickhead though. Hey, that's, that's how society that's, you see it. Right. That's one of those situations where you just, okay, take it on the chin, keep it moving. Oh, who talking to us? You can talk to us, people. You can call us, 267-665-0955. Holla at your OG. We talking about that, uh, we talking about women using that sex, using that punani to set men up and rob us. Put that coochie on us. Then go in our pockets. Get out debit cards. <laughs> Start flashing. If you got money, they they cop your goddamn card number. EBT. That's the next level right there. Electronic hustling. That that's that corporate level where <laughs> these bitches be plying on these men, these billionaires. Who talking to us, bro? Oh, that's uh, that's my old boy. What old boy you talking about? That old boy L. Appreciate you tuning in. All right, uh, let me see. If you put a video online bragging on my gun work, then get famous and five years later someone pulls a video up. It's no one else's fault but mine's for being stupid making that video. And yeah. Exactly. You you Pretty put much. Your, you put yourself in that you put yourself in that predicament. Yeah. So Especially when you chasing fames. But sometimes we do shit and we don't know. It might come back years later. 
that's a situation where you should not be trying to air everything out that, that you, you do. do. Yeah. Leave, and that's one of my biggest things about the AKA, social media. When, when, when rappers talk about who they shot and all this shit and who shot who. Yeah, leave, leave, leave How many bricks they leave it al- and so Yeah, leave it alone because you just open up the door to a whole, bun- a whole bunch of scrutiny that is coming your way. Yeah. Coming your way. Now, just think about it. You probably, you probably was in the game and got away with it because now you opened your mouth about it. Here the feds come. Yeah. Here they come. When you should have just left well enough alone, but you, you know, you got to blow your, keep running your blow, mouth, man. Blow, blow your reputation bigger than what it is. And now you're going to pay the price. And, and, and guess what? Popo do be using the, uh, the social media shit in courts. Yeah. Because it's, it's evidence of right there. It's right in front of your face. This is why, like for me, it took me like, even though I'm sitting here in front of all these cameras, it took me a while to, you know, to get comfortable here. I took pictures and stuff, but I, some attention I never, I never did want. Yeah. Some attention I just. I like attention, positive attention. I don't like, well, who the fuck like negative? But they say any attention, positive or negative is good attention. My yeah. thing is, if you're not, if you're not putting your shit out there, then you it's know, still, you it's still, be, it's still unknown. You shouldn't be. <laughs> Putting yourself out there anyway. Tell them what you do in every five minutes. You posting shit on her uh, on Facebook. Airing yourself out. You said, Instagram. Matter of fact, that's a we matter of fact, we need to probably talk about that. Self snitching. Self snitch is self snitching worse than snitching or just as bad as snitching. You know what, wrong? That's next week topic. Okay. Self snitching. Y'all heard it. Self snitching. I like that. <laughs> that's what you do when you get on social media. <laughs> you, that's all you're doing. If you ain't advertising something that's bringing you some some type of attention or, you know, advertising, you know, a business or something yeah. that you're trying to come up on, then what did you actually, like you see boys actually blowing trees, counting your bread. That's the setup because you are on social media. You just set up them boys okay. or that girl yeah. to come get you. Holding the money up to their ear wrong? All that. And then, then guess what they found out? Guess what you had? Prop money. And then, look, here you is fronting with something that you ain't got, even yours. You got yours. killed for prop money. That ain't even yours. No, prop money is fake money. But I'm saying, you see the image of them with it. Yeah, but yeah. it's not yours. Yeah. You fronting with somebody else's money. And now you done took a, now you done took a, a, a collar choke up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Off somebody else's money. You you on Instagram with it, yeah. You like, yeah, you take the picture. But then once you uh close the Instagram up, you pass I pass you back that stack. <laughs> it ain't even yours. And now you done alerted niggas to come get you, and now you all choked up like this up in the corner up in the corner, like I it, it now now you now the you niggas that, the niggas that know you know that ain't your fucking money. So they might pull your card. You snitching. Self snitching. Self snitching. How at your OG. I'm Mr. Mike. This is my co-host. It's your boy, old boy, Rome 1500. With every Thursday, 11 a.m., we got them hot, trending topics. We talking to talk. Walking to walk. Just sharing a little bit of laughter and opinion. That's all it is. We got a number you can call in and holler at us. 267-665-0955. Yeah, like always, shout out everybody for tuning in. Appreciate it. On my Facebook and Instagram feed. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody tuning in on my Facebook. I'm going to step my game up and get my uh, Instagram people on there, too. Yeah, they need, they need a couple more cameras. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Yeah, but, you know, cameras everywhere. Yeah. That way they can see me doing something at the right time that I can't get I can't get accused for nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got, some, uh, I got some fresh, fresh TDUE T-shirts. I'll probably be doing. I, I might do a special. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out. Well, until you figure it out, don't even let them know about what the specials or the shirts. The specials. Okay. Well, the shirts. You see my post. The shirts going for twelve, two for twenty, twelve two for twenty. All right. That's what I'm doing. If you're an indie artist, you got those bangers. How at your OG. Send them to me. Turn that up. E N T. And that was self promotion. There you go. <laughs> At G, that was self snitching. That wasn't. That wasn't. At gmail dot kizam. Tomorrow I got my man Anthony Jenkins, aka Big Tone. He'll be in the building, aka the office. 
the lab where we do opinions and laughter. Create, That's all it is. Every cre- Thursday, let create and creating good vibes, good vibes and laughter. Not you know, not taking no angry people with no negative vibes. But you know, it, we understand it comes with the territory. But yeah, and today we talking about uh, we talk about that thing women using that poo nanny to set us men up. We meet them at the bar. We take them home. Yeah, I mean, we think we pulled something. We ain't pulled shit. They pulled us. <laughs> By your so pocket. what do you do? What do you do when you buy into the chick that took your money? Oh. What What the fuck do you do when you run into the chick that takes your fucking money? You punch her in the mouth. What do you do, man? It has happened. Of course it has happened. <laughs> it has happened. That's one, of the, that's one of those situations you got to really tap in and find out, like, Am I getting ready to hit this woman? Yeah. Or should I not? I'm not going to hit her. I'm going to expose the shit out of her ass, though. So basically, say, for instance, if you at a club and you bump into her, you you you, you putting hands on her, you gripping her up like letting no, her No, I know. ain't gripping her up, but I'm a damn shit like, yo, dog, don't fuck with her, dog. That, that one right there? That one right there. That's the type of shit I'm doing. Me me putting her hand, putting my hand on her is not going to make a bigger impact to me doing this shit right here, dog. Dog, this bitch right here, you don't want to fuck with her, dog. When you gonna Take do- her home, you're going to wake up broke. You doing it uh, on a low or you putting no, it on blast? I'm putting it on blast. You putting it on blast? <laughs> Bull, yes. Bullhorn this hoe right here. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? She ain't coming to that club no more. No, she's going to she gonna have to find another ad to work. Yeah. And I guarantee you, I'm rolling the dice. I'm rolling the dice saying that Maybe one dude in that club might be like, yup, she got me. <laughs> More than likely, because she But, but she here he had the balls to say shit though. She working it. So you she probably working. so more than likely you probably got took for that. Mm-hmm. You probably did get take for it. So but you know, what do what do you do? Yeah, that, that situation. Yeah, I like you said, you put them on bullhorn, let people know. And once again, that's that that's that level that I was telling you about. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, the, the hood bitches you're putting on blacks. But the bitches that's trying to set up the uh the distributor and the uh and the connect, them bitches get killed. Oh yeah. Because you the did. type money that they set motherfuckers up with and the situations they put people in, yeah. they get killed for that shit. Dirt naps. Dirt naps like a motherfucker. Bye bye. And then that's why a lot of times you like you might hear the news or some shit, and you hear hair. Uh, it's like when we hear females got shot We always be like Think the worst of it Or they got took advantage of Yeah but we don't know actually what they, <laughs> what they did, did. <laughs> You feel me You might be getting the same thing that a nigga would have got Yeah So Mr. Set up distributor And let's just say whatever the case may be This nigga in the hole for like 10 bricks dog They hit the jackpot On the board that she set up They hit the jackpot dog they got the bull for like anywhere between five, ten bricks, about thirty thousand in cash. And, and let me tell you, when the when the connect find out about that and find out he owe, they ain't trying to hear shit. Everybody dying. Everybody dying, man. Everybody dying. The hoe. <laughs> the the person that had her in charge, the person that was, you know what I'm saying? That whole that whole connection is getting and disconnected. Nigga short five bricks and cash, dog. It's a disconnection. Uh, I'm telling you, man, niggas. It's going to be a line of disconnections. Yup. Hey, so. look. Bitch, where that money at? You think I'm playing? Because I'm, I'm about to get killed. <laughs> but, so you did. The, you know, the, the, the moral of the story around this, we call it be the fuck alone, man. She ain't doing nothing that these bitches ain't doing. So, yeah, she guilty, yeah. Oh, and that no. Who talking to us? We got still. We still got people tapping in. I see Cliff. I see KC over there. Mm-hmm. Got uh, my aunt Tracy. Got Cliff. Shout out to Tracy. Tony, co-worker. Shout out to everybody. Everybody tuned in. Appreciate That's what I'm love. talking about. There's love right there. My man Solomon Jones. Shout out to him. Well, March Madness is upon us. What you know about March Madness, bro? My team's still rolling. Uh, Duke? Yes, sir. Ooh. 
Yeah, you sweet gotta 16. Be believe in Zion. Believe the sweet 16, man. So you like besides do? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> that was a good answer. But if the Tar Heels get knocked, I probably would fuck with Duke. I would be neutral, though. They got the popular player, so. Yeah, yeah. Even, even yes, though they ain't got no real shooters of the past like they had, but it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm still throwing, I'm still throwing down the blue. All day. Show G Baby, Miss Mike, Turn Up Entertainment. This is another edition of the Turn That Up 215 show. You can catch me and my co host, Rome 1500. I'm in the building doing what we do. Every Wednesday, 11 a.m., sharing laughter and opinions. opinions. You can catch the re. We want to say the recording. You catch the recording uh, of our show. Your Facebook, my Facebook. Your, my Facebook, your Facebook. You can click that link that you always see. And what's that link, bro? www.spreaker.com slash slash turn that up entertainment. Turn that up, ENT. You can click that. You can hear the show. And you can still leave us comments. You know, we still respond. Yeah, we, we, we go through the week checking out stuff. All right, right back at you tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm right back at you. I got my man, Big Tone, a.k.a. Big Panda. Hold on. We got to we gotta make sure we cover that last one. What's the last one? Do we have a... Who Do anybody have a problem with Colonel Sanders getting a taste of Miss Butterworth? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah. We got to definitely ride that out for the last, for the last bit because everybody is hyped. I don't know where it came from. I get like you said, it's a southern thing. This chicken and waffle thing. Southern thing. Okay, it's a southern. We East Coast. We know about that shit. All right, so now everybody bootleg ass chicken and waffle. Everybody happy and hype for this chicken and waffle thing. Now they got the commercial out here with Colonel Sanders trying to lay some lips on Miss Butterworth. Trying, <laughs> nigga. He laid some lips on Miss Butterworth. See, but freak ass Miss Butterworth. So, <laughs> what do you take? What do you take out of it? Looking at that image, because Mrs. Butterworth was someone that was. I guess you could say back in slavery time, his appearance looked like he's a uh, slave owner or whatever. Are you? It's not so, a racist thing, is it, bro? No, I'm just trying to Making find out. Racist? I'm just trying to find out. It, does anybody feel like, you know, find that's... That. Well, that, how we know Mr. Buttersworth is, uh, is black? Brown bottle. <laughs> <laughs> she brown. <laughs> she brown. Brown bottle. You know what I'm saying? So that's she brown. So we just try to figure out. We you just trying to get some laughter. Off we about to get sued because Jerome has made a racist statement. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, he you know what I'm saying he dressed with the all white little, you know. He would have Mr. Butterboy picking some fucking cotton roll, that's what you saying. Oh, uh, he shouldn't be trying to get a little taste. He would have any fields and he's gonna knock be off. trying to get a little taste of the sweetness. <laughs> 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 no, and all this because of what they try to they try to combine uh, chicken and chicken waffles. waffles. Come on, uh, bootleg, bootleg as chicken and waffles, dog. Like it's a, that shit don't even probably have the same flavor as down south. Cause down south that shit is like so like so it's maybe just so it's a down south thing. I just don't see the east coast. Especially on goddamn fast food. Nah, just it, like it's, you say, it's down south, so it's up. We we would be up north. So I'm quite sure some people or somebody probably felt offended by that. Hmm. Because you got to look at you got to look at the images. And why is it always that they trying to uh, disguise mm. something that they trying to say indirectly? And what do you think they trying to say, aka disguise? Look, indirectly. look, look at the images. You got Mrs. Butterworth. Next thing you know, it's going to be Aunt your Mama. And you already seen what her face is like. <laughs> she brown. Why is he trying to get a little... He's only trying to get a little taste of the brown, of the sweetness. Because now everybody on this chicken and waffle stuff. So you trying to say... For me, I'm, I don't even want... Colonel Sanders is going to be knocking off Aunt your Mama next. He, 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 he pimping. He pimping? They, they over... They, 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 they pimping. They pimp. They trying to. They trying to slide that one in there. But I caught that. I caught that. No, you ain't. You ain't. You ain't. You ain't, you ain't. <laughs> Them creators ain't letting that. I ain't letting that one go. They trying to slide that one in there. They trying to knock us over the head with something else. Hey, bro, you funny as shit, bro. <laughs> no, he should not. He should not be trying to get a taste of the. All right, so who who could they have put on the other side to have Colonel Sanders kiss? 
that would have made it appropriate. All right, I'm getting ready to tap into somebody's age. Remember Carol? Remember Carol, sir? That real thick, nasty ass, sir. Right, that came out the bottle real slow. Yeah. Why not use that, sir? So, he, so you say he could have had Carol, sir? They could have had Carol, sir, with the white lady. Exactly. So Why they had to come get some of the <laughs> see? Is they try to knock us over the head, and they always it's always a, a white situation trying to get into a little bit of the brown, trying to get a tap into the black. So now, so now it's a racist comment. Okay, well, whatever then. So that's what you're saying, right? Whatever. So just say it. Whatever. Just say it. it. Yeah, that's it. That's it, racist. Okay. Well, racist some, I'm commercial. quite sure. I'm quite sure that's probably somebody that's probably so you know, other 60, 65 or better. That's probably looking at that like this some this some nonsense. <laughs> this some bullshit, right? An here. older person that's probably still living probably was like I lived that life and we wasn't allowed to. All right, so the picture, the picture you got in your head when you first saw it was. Oh, they trying to get us. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to get us. They try. They they trying so to get us. You got Colonel Sam. You try to knock on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they trying to get us. You should not be trying to get uh, none of the sweet, shit. the sweet brown. And you, you know what else is so funny? I'm not gonna be surprised. <laughs> this shit come up again in the fucking news. Clark, you said somewhere, somewhere, somebody seen the same racist ass fucking shit that you. I ain't see. I ain't seen. I didn't see race. Just like, just like they they did the uh, you know, you know that? I saw it. H and M with the whole monkey with the whole monkey thing. But no, no, this ain't I was, This ain't on H and M though. But I'm saying you know, they, no, they saw, put they put that image out there. No image so, I saw. Besides the chicken and waffle, what you seen? I seen some fresh shit. Like why the fuck they got Colonel Sanders on TV kissing? See, but that's but that's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm on some freak shit. You on some racist shit. But why? Why is it? So so why is it that we seen the same commercial but we got different different views? Because it's opinions and laughter. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. So what is? And that only proving my fact that people two people can watch the same thing and come up with two scenarios. Come in, you came with two scenarios. <laughs> you see some racist shit. Racist ass Colonel Sanders, and I'm saying some. I'm saying some freak ass Colonel Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, "Oh shit!" So no, no, he could go back and go. They could do that and go get Carol Sir. That that L. But why you could leave Aunt your Mama? I mean, Miss but Miss Butter Miss Butterwork, leave him out of this. So Aunt your Mama next. Yeah. So why didn't they use Aunt your Mama Sir though? Cause black people use Aunt Mama, right? But here's the thing: Aunt Mama first, then who? When you look at the Aunt Mama picture, Miss Butterworth second. I wouldn't even use Miss Butterworth. I uh, never use Miss Butterworth that yeah. I know of. I I use both. But I use Aunt Mama. What face? What face do you see when you use uh, Aunt Mama? What face do you see? Give me the the black lady. How is she? But how, is she dressed like a pickaninny? Okay, she's dressed like what? A slave that was in the kitchen. That so how, how much Butterworth dress? Well, she got her hair in a bun, so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna. But on TV, she a white lady. Who? Miss Butterworth. Nah, I'm going by the bottle. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Butterworth has always been black. That brown bottle in my eyesight. So I don't know where you. <laughs> I don't know where you get that one from. Uh, even right even when you look at the flower bag, uh, and your mama, remember you remember the uh, the brown the, ones? No, remember the, the 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 pancake that used to come in the flower? It used to look like the, the flower bag, yeah, the yeah. white bag with the red label. Yeah, and your mama, brown face. Are oh, you funny as shit? They doing too much with this chicken and waffle stuff. They got now they got Colonel Sanders trying to put lips on uh Mrs. Butterworth. He put lips on Mrs. Butterworth. See, foul. I'm surprised they ain't grab her ass. Foul. Or he might have turned her over and was like really laying in the water for free. See you. See, uh, how you know? You had you got Colonel Sanders told me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she all thick and shit. <laughs> Sweet, huh? Sweet. So that's her shit probably split splash. So yeah. suppose she cut. So suppose suppose Miss Butterworth and Colonel Sanders went out and she took advantage of Mister Sanders. Suppose he drugged him with the chicken and waffle. 
<laughs> what she gave him some food? Yeah, he scared some. He scared too much food. <laughs> scared some sir, took advantage of him. I still wouldn't feel right. You, you think he'll probably he'll, uh, he'll file charges? Actually, <laughs> he, he, he'd be like, man, freak ass Miss Butterworth took the ding. Now I ain't even trying to give her none. She yeah. took it. So oh well. <laughs> She only got back. She only got back what what was put out. <laughs> <laughs> it's your OG baby, Miss Mike. Check Rome, Entertainment. Rome fifteen hundred in the building. Yo, yes, indeed. Boy. It's, it was it was another good show today, bro. <laughs> yeah. See, we 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 didn't cruise through that, and it don't even seem like it. Yeah. We talked about the women using the poo nanny to set men up. Still goes on to this day. Still go on to this day. We talked about. Freak ass Colonel Sanders coming at Miss Butterworth. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all wrong. No. Well, I see he was coming out of Rome. Rome saw some racist shit. No, no. I don't know. That's no, I don't I don't know. Rome was like, fuck that. No, not Miss Butterworth. Not Angel Mama. No. Use some other Use Miss Carol. The white label. Yeah, that that thick, slow syrup that you gotta smack the that bottom. That shit nasty too. You gotta smack the bottom. See, so why didn't they use that? You gotta smack the back, the bottom of the bo- uh, the bottle just for it to come out. So what do what do people down south use for chicken and waffle? I don't know. Haven't been down there. Ain't your mama? If it's black people, it's got there. It's, it's ain't your mama fucking syrup. Then again, they might use caramel. Down south? Yeah, they might use I wish we had to. You know what? I got to ask my manager that. She from down south. But that chicken and waffle and this shit we serve up north, a.k.a. the East Coast, it ain't the fucking same. I wouldn't even want, I don't even want the combination. You ever had chicken and waffle? No. Me either. Do I want it? No. They say it's good, though. So? I'm going to have to try it one day. No. I ain't going to front. No. But see... I don't like anybody waffles, dogs. Anybody don't make waffles good. I don't like anybody pancakes either. And see, I like I, my own pancakes. If I got some, if I got some chicken, you know, a little salt, pepper, and I'm a heavy fifty-seven ketchup boy. Yeah. So you wouldn't put chicken on your syrup? I mean, syrup on your chicken? Nah. Mm. Then again, being that is <laughs> Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a freak. laughs> but no, the two I were at that, that's breakfast. I think you're jealous. I think you jealous, bro. That's basically breakfast and dinner. I think he mad because Colonel Sanders got a kiss from his Butterworth. <laughs> and you don't type of way about that. Look, he just he just recently got a kiss. I've been pouring the sweetness on, on my pancakes for years. <laughs> <laughs> So it don't it doesn't it doesn't even matter. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. That's why you mad. Oh well. Fucking wish to add Colonel Sanders. No, Sir Sanders should not be getting the taste of the strong, <laughs> sweet brown woman. <laughs> no. Lord knows if it was Auntie Mom, you probably start protesting. Oh man. So I'm telling Auntie you. Auntie Mom niggas start protesting. I, I might be I might be standing next to that woman. Or that man that lived in that time and feels though that's not right. Yes, I yeah. yes I will. That's some that's some good shit, Ron, because I wonder who else seen that shit like that though. Somebody else saw some racist ass fucking I ain't seen no race. I just saw some freak nasty shit. <laughs> but I'm saying and that's <laughs> funny cause that's funny as shit cause <laughs> where our minds was at. <laughs> I'm like, this nigga a freak, man. I'm like, looking like he about to kiss that. Oh, they done fucked up, dog. No, you're not kissing Miss Butterworth on national fucking TV. See? And, Roy, you saying, man, they, this is some racist bullshit right they, here. They think they slick. <laughs> they think they slick. They try. See? Try. No. Hey, bro. Leave well enough alone. Bro, like, cool. this is some bullshit right here. And it probably started because everybody on this, oh, I want the chicken and waffle. Come on. It's, it's, it's a marketing thing. So, okay. It's totally marketing thing. So KFC creators. And it's KFC. KFC creators. You're not known KFC. for chicken and waffles, KFC. No. Stick to your thick biscuits. But I wonder do they have do, do they actually have like a waffle maker back there? See, they that's what I'm saying. They all out they lane. Yeah, they yeah, definitely out there lane. But the height so you gotta set shit up for to do it the right way, you gotta have like you gotta set shit up for it. So basically, they look that that that, that uh, waffle you might be getting, yeah. that ain't even probably the batter. What is it? 
it's probably some uh, microwavable junk. More than likely, it's probably is. Yes. Frozen. Mm-hmm. And they done set it in a... Uh, yup, yep. frozen. In, put some heat on it. Yeah. And now you, up in there, out. now you up in there paying six ninety nine dollars <laughs> with, yep. with a small drink. <laughs> with that bullshit ass, sir. <laughs> it ain't even Miss Butterworth. And it's dead chicken, too. Of course it's dead chicken. So it really, yeah. That's so, a good So is they, are they giving you Mrs. Butterworth? Well, it'll be okay, all right? No, nah, they ain't giving I'm up. A, they ain't I'm going to call Colonel Sands and tell you want Miss Butterworth back. KFC need to stop it. Stop it. You about to stop oh. protesting. Stop it. Fucking with Miss Butterworth. It's your OG baby, Miss Somebody Turn Up Entertainment. Your old boy, Rome 1500. Catch us next Thursday. Yes. Back in the lab, sharing opinions and laughter. That's With a new hot trending topic. That's what we do. Trying to make sure everybody stay up open with a positive attitude, no negativity, with some laughter. On that note, we're going to leave you and close it out with a song. This one right here. We holla at you. Peace. And I'm out. Hey, yo, I see what's going on. The blind leading the blind. Between love and hate, there's a thin line. Little younger ran up on me with the nickel plated nonsense. Sorry, yo, G, I gotta get mine. The world's going crazy. They done poisoned our babies. There's no more unity in the black community. No one sober. The drugs done took over. Got addicts, not your persons over old lady shows. Little kids scared to come outside. Bullets flying everywhere. No place to run and hide. If it's not a homicide, it's a suicide. In the concrete jungle, you're blessed to make it out alive. Got a bad epidemic. Bodies just dropping. Another overdose due to pill popping. Do black lives matter? Not to the cops. His hands was way up in the sky. They still hit him with 10 shots. We got up. We got to. Straight facts, facts. Hey, yo, I'm tired of all this fake rap. I'm standing on the necks again, put in work like a Mexican. Mm -hmm. You ain't real, right? Nah. You a young blood. Uh -huh. You niggas grew up on Uzi Verb and Young Thug. Help me straighten it, they marking hip hop. Take a look at what they make of it. The game ain't dead, but it's definitely in critical. Check up like a physical. Huh? 16 descriptions, all of my words biblical. For this year, I'm bringing the real back. This the best of both holes, the town in the hill back. B bomber, Don Dollars, I know they gon' feel that. B bomber, Don Dollars, I know they gon' feel that. We got to We got to We gonna It's our duty to We got to We got to We gonna It's our duty to Hey yo, these rappers nowadays I swear they messing up the game There's no originality They all sound the same Monkey see, monkey do Bunch of copycats Hip hop has been plagued with of mumble rats, warm, 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 coming through my speakers. It me or do they all sound like Charlie Brown's teacher? Can't even understand them. What the hell's he saying? The sound man should be shot for the shit that they be playing. Why bother turning on the stereo when they spin the same wax songs on the radio four times an hour? Heavy rotation, boycott the program director and the station. If you ask me, we should fire the whole staff. Can't let them get away with playing this trash. They're giving hip hop music a bad name. If rap ain't dead, it's hanging on by. Thread.